Over the last few years, there's been a significant expansion uh, of the Jaguar product portfolio as we've widened our appeal to a greater base of customers. We've added all-wheel drive derivatives to our saloons, the XF and the XJ. And we've been able to do that whilst emphasising the core Jaguar DNA, the rear-wheel drive bias of those products. Perhaps most significantly, we've introduced the F-Type, the new Jaguar sports car. And the reaction to that car really has been stunning. So now our challenge is taking those pieces of learning and moving them forward and in doing so delivering a performance all-wheel drive system. Our customers are telling us they love the dynamic capability of the current F-Type, the balance within the chassis, the agility and the responsiveness. So really our key challenge was to maintain those levels of dynamic performance but at the same time build on that level of excitement. What we wanted was to provide traction in all weather conditions, but also to preserve the Jaguar DNA and the sports car DNA. And that means a sports car character, a rear wheel drive character, and steering without any corruption. But the key difference with F-Type all wheel drive is the IDD, the Intelligent Driveline Dynamics. This allows us to blend together powertrain, engine and transmission, the stability systems, traction control, and using the blend of those systems, we're able to create the sports car Jaguar DNA. And using a level of software controls written entirely in-house, we've been able to maintain the rear-wheel drive bias, but at the same time deliver the traction benefits. So IDD allows us to provide torque on demand, as we call it. That means we only provide torque to the front wheels when we actually need it. So in a normal running condition, when the cars are below the traction limit, then the car will be running in effectively a two-wheel drive mode. That means we get great steering precision and we also get the efficiency of a rear-wheel drive car. But we uh, allow the front wheels to be driven to an amount that's required uh, as dictated by the road surface and the, the driving situation. The IDD is operating every 200 milliseconds. It's looking at the car's systems, understanding what the data is saying and allowing us to use that data to tune the car to get the best traction performance in any event. There's two key elements. Firstly, a preemptive element. Now using the systems on the car, we're able to understand what the road surface is like and how much traction there is available. The second element is a reactive system. So when the car's in a manoeuvre, and traction is lost, we're able to use that data and the blend of those two bits of data allow us to choose how the car behaves in those circumstances. The all-wheel drive is still very much an F-type. It delivers all the attribute characteristics of the rear-wheel drive car. The steering precision, the steering feel, the dynamics, the ride, the performance, it's all there. Except the all-wheel drive system now provides a level of security and confidence to the driver when conditions are poor or limits of addition are met. The addition of the all-wheel drive system to the F-Type Coupe and convertible really does broaden the range. In doing so, we think we've delivered the best of both worlds. A fantastic, controllable, exploitable performance car in all weather and road conditions.